another beautiful morning. Landon is going to be on his switch. What time is it? 116. 16 p.m. Landon, and you've been in here in bed on your Nintendo Switch. Landon. Landon. I'm talking to you, Landon. Get off your switch. Mom does not want you on your switch. Earth to land in. What the heck, bro? Give me that back. Your mom does not want you on this crap. It's a beautiful day out. Mom wants you to take a bike ride. So I don't want to. Well, you're gonna have to. She can't she tell me what to do. Yes, she can. I don't want to do a bike ride. I don't care about any of that stuff. I just want to play video games. Well, if you think it's crap or not, you're gonna have to do it. Here's your hat back. I'm not gonna go for a bike ride. Well then, your devices will be taken away. You're not a parent, you idiot. You're right. I'm not a parent, but. Mom will take away your devices when she finds out that you refuse to go for a bike ride. So what do you say to that? Fine!
shoot, I only have, I don't have a quarter, I only have this penny. Well, gotta make a wish. here. 
So I went to the forest in the, uh, the, the open field, and basically what happened was there was a stew with a purple mask, and he started chasing me everywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, man. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in the mood to hear your, your jibber jabber whatever. I'm busy here. If it's really that important, go ahead. So basically, you know how you told me to ride my bike? Mm-hmm. So I was gonna ride. I was riding my bike mm -hmm. to the open field, and I thought I wanted to visit the well mm -hmm. know, to get a wish. Yep, get a wish. Yep. So I started. That's what little walking. kids do all the time. Mhm. Mm so I started walking like to the field mm -hmm. to like you know that the entrance. Okay. I went into there. You know, yep. There's like all that. Weird stuff. Weird you stuff, yeah. Go down. Go down. And then like, there's a bunch of overgrown plants. Yep. I had to go through all that. Yep. And then, were there bugs? Because I bet there were bugs, right? Yeah, there were definitely bugs. I'll bet. I'll bet all my money that there were bugs. Yeah. They were biting you, weren't they? Yes. But the most strangest thing was when I would. Ooh, I gotta hear this. This might be. This might be. This might make a good book. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my. Let me get my thing open. So we don't have time for this. We we'll always t have time for a bit of. Fine, if it's really that important, if you if you if you have to get it all out, then go ahead. After I put the coin in, I did my wish. I heard this, you know, like when a branch cracks and it makes a noise. So yeah, I heard that. You mean a twig snap? Because in my books, I refer to it as a twig snap. So you heard that. Yes. I see. And you naturally turned around to see who it was? There was nobody there. I just thought it was a squirrel. Yep. Yep. Squirrels. Squirrels are going to do that all the time. Well, I, you know, I just I was looking back at what I was doing. But then I heard another thing. And then I saw this weird dude in, like like a coat and it didn't make any sense because it's hot outside and like he was in a green cloak and it looked like he had like something on under it and basically he started running towards me a guy in a coat with something over his face that's weird yep that's that's sketchy and what did he want again i don't know he didn't you didn't know he just started walking towards you? Yeah. That's kind of creepy. Was he like following you before? Was he, maybe he was like following you there. Maybe. Maybe he was stalking you. That's, I mean, I that's not normal. See, here's the thing. This town is pretty chill. There haven't been murders. Everybody here is normal. Everybody knows everybody. No one goes around stalking people. I never heard of someone stalking someone here that's just that's that's actually weird and what happened well, i i started to run to you know to get to safety so i like started running i ran out of the that would make a good book that would make a good book i should i should definitely i should definitely write that that would be that would be a minute um we don't have time for this. Writing a story right now isn't important. Seriously though, this would make a great thriller horror novel. That isn't important right now. Anyways, you want to know the end? Sure, go ahead. So basically, I rode my bike back here. Mm -hmm. you like, I went in, I like, you know the mirror door we have? The mirror door yeah it's on a mirror it's a okay. door it's a glass door that you can see through. yeah whatever it's not for sure you can see reflections you can see yourself in it yeah so it's sort so of like a mirror what happened was i was gonna go inside and you know but i looked in it and i saw him i saw the stalker and his reflection so i looked back i saw him like he was like walking towards me i went inside and closed the door but then, like, when I was, like, backing up, he took this, like, sticky note out of his pocket and he put it on a window and it said, it said, I'll get you. Hmm. Yeah, so sort of like a, shh, like a, like a horror thriller 
novel sort of where the main protagonist is being targeted by this stalker who maybe maybe there's gonna be okay maybe there'll be like in the book there'll be like a, a series of murders a book isn't important right now i think this would be a great horror novel and then there could be like detectives and they'll they'll investigate these these murders and it all leads them back to this this weird thing okay, that'd be a, a great great book that isn't important right now but speaking of investigators I know my friend Liam is a good expert on that stuff. Yeah, I bet he is. We should go uh, see him and ask him questions. Yeah, good luck with that. I need to work on my book. You know, Leo, I'm just gonna say this one last time. Writing a book isn't important. You don't believe me, do you? See, I, I really don't believe you, because you wanna know the truth? It sounds crazy. This is a very chill town, just like I said. Nobody stalks anybody. Everybody here is friendly. Maybe you imagined it. Maybe it was all in your head. That's, some, that's something I have to add to the book. So are you going to Liam or what? Yes, I'm going to Liam's. Enjoy your book writing. needs to see a shrink. About what? About, like, I had this encounter. Is there, like, any place we could talk in private? Uh, we could go down to the garage. All right. Perfect place to go. Nobody's gonna find us here. Nobody's gonna be here. It smells like grass in here. <laughs> So, All right, so what did you want to talk to me about? So one time, so today, my brother told me to go on a bike ride, and, like, I went to the open field, went to the woods, and, like, right. you know, the, the well we used to go to. Yeah. And basically, he gave me a wish, something I'm not going to tell you. Uh, so just tell me about it now. And then after, I heard a twig snap behind. There's, like, nothing there. So, you know, I was just going to... Hmm. Stay there for a bit, and then I heard another one. And then suddenly, this man in like a green coat, and I don't even know why it is. It's like seventy thousand degrees out, and so basically he started chasing me. So I like had to like, you know, go. And like, then I ran to. Wait, I, well, wait, wait, wait. Is it a person or a monster? I don't know. It had the hood on. Hmm. We'll have to figure this out. Yeah. 
Uh, so do you want to go outside now? That's all really you wanted to tell me, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go out. Uh, so Landon, I'll look into that. Okay. I'll try to figure it out. Do you have any photos? No, but I could try to do that, you know, all right. at night. If you, could, if you could get a photo or two, send them to me. Okay. All right, yeah. I'll see you. All right, bye. Bye. gonna let you in what do you what do you even want
this with it. Yeah. I'll turn on some cool lights. <laughs> Alright, so the desk is right here. It's kind of secret. Mm -hmm. So you do have the picture, right? Yeah. And okay. I also have a question. Why is there a picture of the sweetest fish? Uh, my sister painted it. Nice. Have it right. Alright. Okay. see why you run for that. So when did you take this photo? I took it last night at 3 a.m. Hmm. Right. So we need to figure out if this is a human or something else. We should like search up if like there's like a hooded thing going around. But I don't know if that's gonna pop up on Google. I don't think that would pop up. But it might pop up on what? I mean we could try looking it up. Okay, let's search up the figure. Alright. Alright, now let's go on Wikipedia and see what there is. That's what you told me to go on. Yeah, right? Wiki. Alright. Yeah. So. Hmm. It says that a human named Peter Clarkson escaped from the psych, psych ward a month ago. That's weird. What is what else? Alright, this is the next part. It says that residents on Windover Landing have claimed to have spotted a hooded figure in a coat lurking around the neighborhood. People have been going missing, said Officer Callahan. It is believed that the psych psych ward escapee is the reason why people are going missing. It's only a matter of time before someone is taken by the stalker again. Job. We got some research done. We're not even in school. Yep. Okay. I gotta leave. All right. Let's go. Okay. All right. We got some research done. Yeah. All right, Landon. Up here. See you tomorrow. Okay. Or whenever we see each other again. Yes, yeah. and make sure I'll, I'm gonna make sure I write notes down. All right. So you can investigate even more. Maybe there's other websites or something. Yeah. We need to find more about him. Maybe even try to find him. All right, girl. See you later. See you later. Yeah. Come on. Again? Well, I guess I'll see you the other day.
Landon. Landon, is that you? Landon, please. Landon. Landon. Stop playing with my hair, Landon. Thanks, Landon. Landon, I thought I told you to stop. That's getting annoying, Landon. Landon, I'm serious. Stop playing with m my hair. Landon, Landon, I said stop. Leo, what's going on up there? What's going on? Leo, you okay? Leo? What's happening?
my, my brother's dead, and Peter Clarkson is angry. You really got your brother? Yes, I saw him. He's dead. So you actually saw him in person? Yes. Hmm. I want to continue our research, and then I want to find him and kill him. All right. That might be a little tough, but I guess we can try to make it happen. Let's go. Alright, let's sit down. So, what else do you want to show me? There's not much, but we need to do some more research. Uh, Alright, so what website should we go on? Um, maybe... I don't know. Something that's good. Uh, we could just try Safari. We could try YouTube. YouTube doesn't, uh, isn't, doesn't tell the truth all the time. Yeah, that might be a little risky though. There might be some fake stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we could try it though. Yeah. Oh, we don't have internet, so we can't do YouTube. I'll just do something else. Like, we could do Wiki again. Let's just do it on normal Safari. Yeah. Alright. Hooded mass figure. Alright. So now we can see what there is. I found a page. What does it say? I don't know yet. Wait, let me scroll down. It says, Peter Clarkson, the most recent psych ward escapee, who is now terrorizing the residents of Windover Landing, is this where we live, has been spotted yet again. The Ronalds, Larry and Shelly Ronald, of 23 Windover Lane, have recently gone missing. Their bodies were found yesterday in their basement by the local law enforcement. It is confirmed that the, these were murders and Peter, Peter Clarkson is to blame. As the police search for him, a current pattern suggests that this stalker likes isolated places in heavily wooded areas like forests. Well, that's all I saw on that website. I feel like we couldn't have got any more today. But yeah. You know, but we should try like checking your woods or something. Mm -hmm. What was that? Mm. It sounded like one of our bikes falling over. Let's go see. Let's go check. How did it get knocked over if it was on its bike stand? I don't know. I guess the wind maybe? Yeah. Oh, everything's wind. just the wind. I mean, it could have been something else. Like, you don't suppose it was the hooded figure, do you? Was that rustling in the woods? I think it was a stick cracking. It's a twig snap, not a stick crack. Whatever. That's what my brother used to always say. Maybe it's the psych ward escapee. We should investigate. How deep does this wood go? Pretty far. Goes to a whole different neighborhood. There must be a lot of bugs that are here. Make sure you check. 
So how are we going to kill it? I don't know. Maybe with this thing? That's or something? What the?
Leo, are you here? It's Matthew. Landon, I can't open this door. Landon, what's going on in there? Why isn't this door opening? Hey, what's up, Matthew? I'm good. Why was the door barricaded? Because this dude in a coat with a weird mask over his face and Peter Clarkson was in my basement and he started to chase me so I had to go up here and barricade the door. Cool. I need to re barricade the door because it's only a matter of time before the stuff comes back up. <laughs> I have a better way of doing it. Now he can't get in. Do you hear that? Jeez. Holy crap! We gotta get out of here. I have an idea. We have to hide from him there. Hide in the closet. Should we see if he followed us? Absolutely not. Open
Holy cow! Go in. Ah! Let's get out of here. Holy crap indeed, Landon. I killed your friend. I killed your brother. And now, I'm going to kill you. Not if I have to say anything about you, crap. Oh, my God. 
wrong. This isn't the end for me. It's the end for you, you crap of...
Thank <laughs> you.